To add form fields to the form model, you can use a class that Angular provides named Control. Representing form elements in code involves creating them as control objects. The control class is found in at Angular slash common. All of these form related classes and things are located in the at Angular slash common scoped package. Back in the order sheet component ts file, I can add control to the import list at the top. So a control can be thought of as the baseline building block for a form. It cannot be divided into other controls. Control is what you use to represent form elements that will collect data from users. I'm going to add the first control to the order sheet form. Down in the build form method where I'm creating the control group from the form builder, I'm passing in an object literal to the group method. This object can have properties that represent the names of the form fields. I'm going to add one named customer name in camel case, and I'm going to set it to a new control. The control constructor can take in the value to set the control to as the first argument, and a validator function as the second. You can also call it with no arguments, and it will set the control value, which is the form field value, to null by default. I will cover validators in a later video. So I can new up a control like I did here, and that's fine, but I can also make use of the form builder class like I did with the control group. I'll replace this instantiation of a control with a call to this dot underscore form builder dot control. This form builder control function is expecting at least one argument. So I'll set that to null. Now you could set this to an empty string as well. That really just depends on how you want to handle your form data. If a user doesn't fill out the field, then this will be the value in the form object for that field. The order sheet in this app has a couple of other basic controls that I can set up in the same way. I'll add a property for specialty sandwich, set that to a call to form builder.control with a default value of null, and I'll do the same for a property named other notes, setting that to a call to form builder control as well. So that's the basics on the control class and how to use it.